Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my attempt at capturing probably the most famous astro image of all time, the pillars of creation in the Eagle Nebula. Okay, so this target is so famous that it really doesn't need an introduction. When NASA released that Hubble image of the pillars of creation, it inspired millions of people around the world to buy a telescope, get into astronomy or astrophotography, and it's so easy to see why. Let's take a look at that image again. So I just love looking back through those Hubble archives and I just think that those videos that they have created where they zoom in into the centre of the nebula are just absolutely fascinating. They've got some great ones out there, the, the Pillars of Creation obviously, they also have the, the Bubble Nebula video so make sure you check that out if you haven't seen it already. But I also think it's absolutely amazing that you can capture the Pillars of Creation with a rig that looks like this from your back garden garden and you can actually try to recreate that famous image. Now I have to be honest with you guys, I have already captured the data for this image and this video. Now when I am recording a video, when I'm capturing data, I usually bring the camera out from the beginning. I usually do some recordings of me setting up. I usually talk a bit about the target, go through the gear I'm using and capture some video footage as I go. But I didn't actually plan to create a video for this image. And the reason was because I didn't think the image was gonna turn out very good. Now, I really don't have a lot of time on the Eagle Nebula. Rises above my neighbor's house late, fairly late at night. It doesn't actually clear my house at all. And then it sets behind my tree before um, twilight finishes. So I really don't have a huge amount of time on the target. It doesn't get very high above the horizon so wasn't expecting the image to turn out that well but when I processed the the data I was actually really quite pleased with how it turned out so I thought I'd do a little video after the fact um, so I could bring that uh, image to you and share that image on YouTube but I just thought I would show you quickly now what I mean when I say I don't have a lot of time with the target um, and it isn't that visible from my back garden. So the pillars of creation will rise just high enough above my neighbor's house um, over the top and they will go just below the rooftop of my house before they set over there behind my neighbor's tree. And I'll show you the app I use. I use an app called Sky Guide to just plot the pathway of um, the, the targets I'm planning to shoot. And I'll show you what that looks like now. Okay, so as you can see, I've opened the app Sky Guide. I've gone into the augmented reality tool, and now I'm just gonna fast forward. I found the Eagle Nebula. I'm just gonna fast forward throughout the night. So there you can see 10 o'clock, just about rises high enough above, or there you go, about half 10, rises high enough above my neighbor's house to actually image. You can see it actually disappears behind my house around midnight, and then it will disappear behind my neighbor's tree around two o'clock. So it's a very um, interrupted imaging session. Um, I can't have a full night of clear skies on it. And it doesn't really get high enough for me to, to put a lot of time into this target. 
So as you can see, I don't get a huge amount of time with the Eagle Nebula, um, but I have managed to capture a couple of hours of data on each filter over the space of a week. Um, and I will obviously show you that data at the end of the video and show you the final image. But I just wanted to quickly talk about why I'm imaging during twilight. I've had a few comments recently saying that I really shouldn't be imaging at all when there is no astronomical darkness and that I'm just wasting my time. And a few comments saying that I, I'm fine to image with HA and S2, but I really shouldn't be imaging using the O3 filter. Um, and I don't agree with those comments at all. Um, I've been surprisingly pleased with how the data has come out over the last um, month, month and a half, two months, when we actually haven't had any astronomical darkness. So as you guys who watch my channel know, I've been sent a telescope to review. Um, so I've really got no option other than to actually image at the moment. And we don't have astronomical darkness in the UK for another few weeks or so. Um, and I wanted to finish some images rather than just imaging in HA. Um, and the O3 data has been surprisingly good with this ASI 2600, the ultra narrowband and LIA filters, and the ASCAR 80 PHQ. So I just thought I would jump into the computer now and show you some of the O3 data that I've actually been able to capture during twilight. Okay, so I just wanted to show you some of the O3 data that I was able to capture over the last couple of months when we've had no astronomical darkness, just twilight. Um, so this was taken with the PHQ-80, the ASI-2600 and the Antlia Ultra Narrowband filters. This is obviously O3 data on the Cygnus wall. And if I just stretch this image, you can just see how much detail actually came out in this data. And I was really pleased with how usable this O3 data was, even though, like I said, there was no dark skies, no astronomical darkness. And if I show you the final image that this ended up in, you can see the O3 was, I was able to bring out that O3 really nicely. And I was actually really happy with this final image. And this and the other image I was about to I'm about to show you are actually two of the fav my favorite images that I've ever taken. So definitely get out and shoot. So this is some O3 with the, um, on the Cygnus wall. Um, here is the um, Tulip Nebula. Obviously there's not as much O3 in this target, but if I just stretch it for you now, you can still see that it's able to pick up some detail, some dark nebulosity going on here, some actual O3 in the Tulip Nebula itself. Um, and you can see that it is well worth shooting. Um, the O3 during twilight. And this was the final image that I was actually able to create with this O3 data. So people say that you can't shoot during twilight. People say you can't shoot O3 during twilight. Um, I don't agree. Um, again, this is some data. This is of the Eagle Nebula. Um, and this is what I was able to capture over the last couple of months. So yeah, I just wanted to show you some of this data um, and like I said these two images here are two of my favorite ever images and if I didn't shoot during twilight I would not have captured these images so if people say to you you can't capture data during twilight when there's no astronomical darkness I would go ahead and ignore that advice and actually just get outside and try capturing data anyway I mean what do you have to lose it's not like we're using film where you, it costs a lot of money every time we we try and capture an image um, it's digital cameras all that you're going to waste I guess is a little bit of your time but it's always fun to be outside with a telescope um, so yeah I think it's definitely worth giving it a go. Um, you've got nothing really to lose and you might end up with um, a decent image or two as a result. Okay, so enough of me waffling on. I will now share the image of the Pillars of Creation and the Eagle Nebula. Now, I actually sent this data to a good friend of mine, Ollie Barrett, who processed the image as well. So I'll share his uh, version of the data with you. Now, please let me know which you prefer 
in the comments below. But I'll put Ollie's image up first and then I'll put my image up afterwards. Um, like I said, let me know which you prefer. But thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. If you could hit that like button, it does really help. Um, the, the YouTube algorithm share this video so other people see it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider doing so. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.